Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome into another early 2020 set review. Today we're going to be looking at set number 75270, Obi-Wan's Hut, and this has 200 pieces. It's $29.99 USD and $39.99 Canadian, and for four minifigures and this build that is just... It's crazy to think that this is the first time we're getting Obi-Wan's Hut, and after 20 years of LEGO Star Wars, after it being a part of one of the levels, actually completing the, the chapter or whatever it was for A New Hope in LEGO Star Wars 2, that we've never gotten it. After 20 years, we're finally getting it. That is just... It, it's, a, it's a crime, honestly. I, I genuinely believe that it's a crime that we've never gotten this. But I'm really excited to look at this set, and I have a feeling that there's going to be something that really surprises you, and so stick around for that. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the build and then the minifigures. Alright, let's look at the hut, since that's what is in the... this is how it is on the box and everything. It's open, so let's close it up just so you can kind of see what it looks like on the outside. And I think you're going to be kind of interested in one thing as we're going along here, but this is meant to be the main entrance, and while I like the, the entrance and everything, my only complaint is that there's this box in the way, but that's easily removed, it's just like, that's supposed to be the entrance to the house, but you're kind of blocking it with the chest there, so you can remove that, and we'll take a look at what's inside in a bit, but um, it doesn't actually lock or anything, there's no locking mechanism that like any any hinges or anything is hooking into the hook pieces, so that is a bit of a shame. On the outside you just have a crate and there's nothing inside here, but uh, you could just put whatever you want. There are some things that you can put. Here's like some of the moisture farm uh, technology, I think, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what that's meant to be. And just spinning it around. I just like all the texturing by the way, I like the dark tan as well as just some of the, the textures that they've used here with some of the pieces. And then here's where it gets interesting. Here's supposed to be like this little kitchen build and you've got some soup on the stove and and everything. But what's strange to me is that they've got these parts that m are kind of meant to look like they can attach to something. And I looked everywhere. I could not find anything. I looked on the box. It doesn't say can be combined with such and such a set. So it's just very strange to me that you've got these hinges right here and here. And it's just like, well, what does this do? Like, what is it going to connect to something? And maybe there's going to be a second part to Obi-Wan's Hut. That's the only explanation that I can think of because it doesn't really make sense. Unless they're going to want to connect it to maybe, like, Uncle Owen's house and everything. But that, that wouldn't make too much sense. I don't know. It just, it's very strange. These hooks here on the outside and especially on the bottom. Like, these... I don't know, and I didn't build these wrong. I looked on the box art and the instructions, double-checked everything, so it is just very weird to me. It doesn't tell you to put anything there. It's just such a strange inclusion, and you'll see, like, these are actually stairs going up here. So it's like I'm missing something. It's 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 very, very weird, and I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of this, but let's open it up. You can see here that they open on the hinges uh, there and there, and that's really good there. Um, and you can also lift this up if you wanted to get some more access to the actual inside and it pops all the way back so that's that's really good uh, on the shelf here you've got some random stuff but they do have some uses I don't know what these little builds are meant to be um, but the actual table there has a thing of blue milk a little carton of blue milk which I just absolutely love such a cute little addition over here you've got this staff piece I don't really know why and we'll get to that one in a second and then you've also got one of the Tuscan Raider staff weapons there so that's very weird to me that he has one in his house as well as the Tuscan Raider has one as well and you can see the stove there uh, what that looks like from the front you got a little flame going and then you have these one by one flat tiles there on the inside and I think that's meant to be like a stew or green soup or something I'm not entirely sure but see what I mean about the stairs like it's like it's going up to somewhere so it's it's very strange I think we gotta be getting something it is a very weird inclusion and we'll take a look at the Leia piece closer because I just want to show you that that is absolutely so so amazing and here it is. Oh my goodness, it looks so great. It, oh gosh, I really want a piece of with Leia actually having the hood over her her Cinnabons. I think they'll be really great, but just look at the minifigure. Like you can see the hands there, you can see everything. Like this just looks so amazing and you could see the dress as well. It just it's so well made. I think that this is just such a great piece and 
so, so important, especially because, of course, from A New Hope, but then later on being used in The Last Jedi. I know, I, you don't want me to mention that movie, but I, I think that that was one of the coolest parts. And, um, oh my goodness, just seeing this here, it's it's really, really great. So depending on the angle, you can actually get R2 to kind of look like he's actually projecting it onto the table. But it's very hard. Like, the actual picture on the box has it so that um, R2 is actually right up there on that stud. But it just doesn't work with Obi-Wan's hands, and it's just very strange, and you kind of have to remove the table and the seat if you want to get a better angle and kind of project him facing downwards. But you can fit two minifigures there. I wanted to show that as well. It is a shame that you don't have another seat for C-3PO, but I, I think that this is, this is it's a good build, and I like the table. And, of course, the best part there is that Princess Leia hologram that you've seen. And, oh my goodness, that part's just so cool. And I'm just going to show you by taking this part here, this piece, and what's inside the crate. So, yeah, inside the crate, if you take it, you open it up, you got the little training droid, as well as the lightsaber, Anakin's lightsaber inside, which you can build. Here's the... Jedi training marksman bot, and it is crazy. I, I could have sworn that we've gotten this before. I did as best as I could, and if Brick sets wrong, I looked at all the white heads, all the gray heads, and I could not find a single piece with this printing. And I look back at other Millennium Falcons, and wow, they were brick built. And I could have sworn that I already had one of these, but this is awesome then. This is the first time that we're getting that, so first time for everything i guess today but this looks really really great and i like that you're taking the parts off of the shelves and everything to build this build this little stand for luke to try and start training and i just think that that's it's a fun little inclusion could they have included the helmet i know it wouldn't have made sense since they do it on the de on the uh, millennium falcon but you know it, it's fine it's fine i guess but i i really love this and i think that this is just so great to be getting for the first time wow is this bad printing on r2 oh my goodness look at that it's just look at how uneven that is it's really weird because at the top it's not uneven but just the trim there looks so so bad but Anyways, I don't believe that this is new or anything. It is really hard to tell with these R2s <laughs> from year to year. We just keep getting more and more. And yeah, it, it looks good though. And it's a fun inclusion. Of course, you had to include it if you were including the Leia projection. And here's Obi-Wan Kenobi. And Ben Kenobi if you want as well. But he looks really good as well. All the prints and everything are the exact same. And he comes with a lightsaber, which is good. And the hairpiece, I really think that it's about time that we stop using that hairpiece. For really anyone, I just think that it's just... It does not have the texturing that matches up with everybody else and looks really weird in my opinion. I think that we just need something, anything for him. It just do something, please, Lego. Here is Luke, and again, same with Obi-Wan, nothing new here. And this is the exact same one that comes in the Land Speeder set. And you can see here that he does come with a pair of binoculars, so that's pretty cool. And the hairpiece, I really love this hairpiece that they did wind up eventually making for him. I think it's really great. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's the Tuscan Raider. I was like, I gotta do it. It's so it's so great. It, it, I just love the Tuscan Raiders, and they just... I love this piece that they've actually made for them. I'm gonna take away the staff, and that's just the build that they've been using a lot for the Tuscan Raider. But for the minifigure here, you can see how detailed that torso is. This is a brand new torso, which just looks really, really good. And I love the leg printing as well. That's also brand new. But this is the same minifigure that does come in the Bantha versus the Skyhopper micro fighter. So it's nothing new, but it is new, but it's just not exclusive. And the back printing there looks really, really great as well. I think that this is just a great looking minifigure and again this molded head that they created for them i love so much there you have it everyone that is obi-wan's hut and i absolutely love this set i think that's so great and i think that for the first version of it because i'm sure at some point hopefully we get another one but 20 years this is the first we've gotten it that's absurd to me and i think that this is just a really great build and i think that it's it's iconic i think i think that that's one of the most iconic scenes is seeing a lightsaber for the first time ignite in Star Wars and I don't know it's just it's really powerful and I think that it's really disappointing that it's taken so long to get that iconic moment and everything hearing him talk about his father to Luke it's just 
it's absurd that it's taken this long, but it's really great, and you're getting four good minifigures and a brand new piece, which is, I absolutely love so, so much, but anyways, everyone, I hope that you did enjoy this review. Let me know down below in the comments section which ones you want to see me review next. Got a playlist going for all the 2020 set reviews for Star Wars and all the other themes separately, so if you want to check those out, I'll link it here at the end if you have missed a couple of them, but I hope that you did enjoy this, and I hope that you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.